Well, our Wednesday show continues, and you did not think we were going to let a Wednesday go by without checking in with one of our favorites, Dr. Lori, of course, and Cheeks Appraiser Extraordinaire, who brings her talents to our show every week to help our viewers. Dr. Lori, how you doing? I'm doing great. I've got the candy. I have my <laughs> witch's costume. Are you ready Ooh. for Halloween? <laughs> oh, um, yes. Things are coming together nicely for our show. Halloween show oh, fun. and then also personally you know we have to do the family costume we always let my daughter choose stay tuned for that so things are coming together I hope and continuing in a positive direction <laughs> it's a fun time of the year it really it is. is it's a fun time it of the year is. it's not chilly yet it's not really warm yet you know it, it's great it's great so, it's so let's good. play some dumpster or no dumpster and yes. see what we've got from our viewers I like it I was gonna say let's give some people some treats and not some tricks with the items that they send in on our Facebook page, right? Yeah, let's hope so. Any of you can send in whatever items you are curious about to the Tampa Bay Facebook page, Tampa Bay Morning Blend. That Facebook page is a cool place to find a lot of information, and you can post pictures there, too. You can tag Dr. Lori or Antiques. Okay, number one, you ready? Oh. How about an autograph of First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt? on a White House stationery card from the 1940s. It is an authentic autograph in ink, and it's on an authentic White House stationery card. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah, I would definitely say no dumpster. I mean, even if it's not there now, I think it will definitely, years to come, be something that you want to keep pristine and keep nice. Hands That's down, right. no dumpster. That's right. Best place to keep these types of pieces. Remember, a solander box, acid-free boxes. Envelopes are not usually acid-free, or a plastic cover would be good too. Value five hundred dollars. Oh, five hundred. Oh, could you imagine too? You just keep that a while longer. That's only going to increase, isn't it? It'll increase in value, and of course, it's always worth more during an election year, right? Ooh. Value goes up, and um, also uh, during periods when we are celebrating. Um, historic women, which should be every day, but yes. <laughs> right, we were just talking off camera how women should rule the world. I'm with you there. That's we right. could have gone ahead and, and, and celebrated there, Miss Eleanor Roosevelt. Well, that's a great way to start, a good talker. What do you have for the next item today, Dr. Lori? Next item actually is quite nice too. We're, we're continuing sort of a colonial American theme or an American political theme. Betsy Ross American flag blue transfer wear plate. Uh, part of a um, service of um, colonial scenes by Crown Ducal of England. And that manufacturer made a whole uh, group of these particular types of plates with different um, historic colonial American scenes. So you'll notice the blue white transfer. A lot of people like that. I happen to like blue white myself. It's an eight inch in diameter wall plate. You wouldn't normally eat off of a plate like this. Um, but basically, it's a decorative plate for the wall. And you know what, Dr. Lori, we've talked about transfer wear in the past and also the blue and white, you say, tends to have, you know, more value depending on the item. Yeah. I think with that element, I think with the historical element, I'm going to say no dumpster today. No dumpster, just at 50 bucks. Okay. I, I thought maybe it was going to be close because, you know, again, I know plates tend to be when they're by themselves, of course, you know, not in a collection, but that's a good one. I'm Very sure some good. people would love to collect that. Okay. What do we have for our final item of the day? Uh, long live the president. Uh, the inaugural button, a campaign button from the 1792 campaign when George Washington ran for president. And it's not like today's political uh, campaigns where you're seeing the, the candidates all the time. Um, in 1792, actually, George Washington would stay home and wait for him to be actually um, elected president. But this is the button, an actual button that would be sewn onto a coat or a jacket that would show who you represented. Uh, to be quite honest with you, when you said George Washington, like my head spun around. I'm like, what? <laughs> is your George Washington? Are you serious? Um, yeah, yeah, no dumpster. Yeah, no dumpster. Definitely $1,500 if you were to, lucky enough to find one of these in a button drawer. Wow. Uh, that would be some serious luck. And maybe yeah. not store it in the button drawer. Keep it somewhere else a little special, right? Right. Some 
cool political collectibles today. <laughs> that was good. This was very appropriate as the election is right around the corner. Great to see you, my friend. And of course, if you want to play along with Dr. Lori, just go to our Facebook page, TV Morning Blend, and also drlorev.com. Take care, okay? Thank you.